Hello Mark, great to see you again. Welcome back down to the studio. Today we're going to be breaking down the monocoque. So to begin with, what is it? <laughs> well, the monocoque, or chassis as it's often known, is a sort of central part of the car. And if we, we look at this great big Formula One car, it starts about here, just behind the driver's head and it continues right forward in front of the front wheels up to the point where the nose is attached. It's a key part of the car, it's, uh, it's the bit where the driver sits obviously, but it's integral to performance as well as safety. It's essentially the centre part of the car, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. This is essentially the driver's office, if you like. Um, so he obviously has a steering wheel, has this seat that's moulded, tailored to him, his, his own body shape. The accelerator and the brake pedal right down the far end there, all the controls, the switches and buttons that he has, the, the seat belts that strap him tightly into that seat. So everything he needs is in here. The fuel system carrying 100 kilos of fuel this year in Formula One sat millimetres behind his head, so in this part of the car. So, yeah, everything the driver needs in terms of do his job, but a lot of other things as well for the team are also based in the, in the chassis itself. We touched on safety. That's obviously got to be a huge element of this section of the car. Um, it's essentially protecting the driver. Yeah, it really is. I mean, this is the driver's safety cell. It's another term that's often used. This is what protects him if there's any sort of incident. So the thing's made of carbon fibre, which is an incredible material. It's incredibly light, yet incredibly strong. And that's the thing that protects him. It saves him if there's any impact. So if that's what's uh, protecting him, how thick is that? Well, it's not very thick. I mean, uh, you know, at places around the chassis here, you might be talking about an inch thick, which doesn't sound much, but because of the properties of carbon fibre, actually that can really, really save his life in an impact. We, we also have specific uh, safety crumple zones, that they're, they're known as crash zones, around the sides of the cockpit. So if there's a side impact, he's very well protected. These zones absorb a lot of the energy from an impact. Again, we have it at the front with the nose of the car. So he's very well looked after in here. It's a very safe place for him to be, and of course it has to be. And haven't they got an ingenious way of getting a driver out if they do unfortunately get themselves into a sticky situation? Yeah, they have, and all the teams use the same system now. So the driver's strapped into this seat that's moulded to his back. This is a deformable head restraint on the side of the cockpit here, which does a job in itself in absorbing any impact on the driver's head in an accident. But this is removable, so the medical teams get to the scene. They can take this out, give them access to the driver. They're then able to lift the driver right out of the car, place him by the side of the car where they're able to work on him in a much better environment. And what that does is keeps his spine straight, keeps him in a sort of preserved state, if you like. So it's a really ingenious way of you know, minimising injury, I guess, is the, is the key part of that. Safety has always been high on the agenda, but we've seen some real improvements, haven't we? Yeah, we have. and It's a constantly developing area of the sport, and something that Formula One can be incredibly proud of is that we haven't had a driver death in this sport for 20 years. The last one was the great Ayrton Senna. You know, that's real testament to the work involved, and this part of the car, the chassis, the monocot, is a key part of that. Brilliant. Thank you once again for coming down, Mark. It's great to hear your insider knowledge. My pleasure.